Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. Star Citizen is currently in beta 3.14 and 3.2 is on the horizon. Now, uh, I wanted to do a quick mission, one of the ones that's a PI investigation. And to do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to accept one. So pressing F1 on the keyboard, come up with our Moby Glass. And uh, then you select this icon here in the middle and if you look here it's the one that's an investigation from Elaine Ward okay so basically PI missions are go somewhere find something and then submit your data or return the data somewhere so uh, we're going to accept this offer and uh, it's going to says go to Kovalex shipping hub okay so that's our first objective let's get our ship out using the uh, F key to retrieve our Aurora LN from the landing pad okay so B B uh, should actually show up somewhere there is I think that's just a hole yeah it's just a cubby out or run around so I'll we'll dive out this door okay this is the airlock Should be able to get to our ship from here, or is it the other way around? Go that way. Oh yeah, here we go. And there she is. Right, so using the F key to use the personal in a thought menu get into our ship and then again to enter the pilot seat and then get a flight ready and off we go so get the landing gear up And then you move faster. Right, okay, so the Kovalex hub. So we need to bring up our uh, Moby Glass again, but this time we want F2 for the map, and we need to find Moby Glass, uh, Kovalex, which is around one of the planets. I think it's Daymar. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. If I just bring it around there, it's uh, Kovalex Shipping. You can just about see it. The, uh... Now, this is an interesting point about the quantum jumping. When you're getting around the verse, or the universe, uh, using the quantum drive and taking a quantum leap to your destination, it doesn't always. it's not always a case of, you know, I've clicked on the Kovalex Shipping Hub, and I'll set that to destination, I head towards it, and it tells me it's out of range. Yet yeah, it's nearer than the actual planet that it's sitting around. So you can see that, it's, that little diamond has gone blue, which is a bit weird. Um, they are fixing this sort of stuff, but they are, so I've targeted the planet of Daymar, uh, pressing ball B to spool up the quantum drive. This is going to change in 3.2. Quantum drives are going to um, be linked to in, for in groups as if you're in a group, um, but uh, they're hoping to make it less of a case of you doing multiple jumps. So now that I'm at Daymar, what I can do is I can bring up the 
the map again. And now we can go to the shipping hub. Let's get rid of that. And oops. Go. Okay, so we do have an enemy here. Let's target that guy. Oh, it's a red out. Okay, so this particular mission is an EVA. Uh, you will need to get out of your ship and enter the Kovalex hub. Oh, is that guy heading my way? I think he probably is. I might have to take him out first. So he doesn't take me out first, that is. Oh, it looks like he's under attack. Something's having a go. Okay, so maybe he's not bothered with me. That's fine. He's got problems of his own. Okay, so what you're looking for are the landing platforms on the Kovalex hub. Which are... Just here, I think I just passed them by. And then, are they? Yeah, here we go. There they are. They're a bit shabby because there's this is basically the site of an explosion. So what we're going to do is gently glide in. Not landing. What we're going to do is we are going to press H and get out of the seat. And we're going to go and have a look around the Kovalex hub. Right, okay, so this might be a little unusual for some people. Once again, using the F key to bring up the heart of the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, so to get bring up the person in the thought menu so we can exit the vehicle. And what we're looking for for this particular mission are... These terminals, so we need to go over to these terminals and get thrown around by the debris. And you can see it says new message pending, that's what we're looking for. So we retrieve data with the personal inner thought. Now, the controls here are a bit sort of tricky. You use Q and E to turn yourself, mouse to look around, of course, and W and A, S and D to sort of glide around because you are still in outer space. There is no gravity. And let's go down here and now we're going up. So space to go up to the level we want. There it is. Oops. Control will go down. Right now, it's important to check in these um, sort of like bunk areas because, as you can see, there's a laptop with some important information. Now, this does actually have a couple of outcomes. This mission, if you get all of the information you need, um, then you know, you'll need to come back here at some point. If you get all the information you need then the lady who sent you uh, on this mission, Elaine Ward, because it was her husband that was responsible for the disaster here, um, she will reward you properly, otherwise um, the people who were actually responsible for it, not her husband, don't get put to jail. I think you still get paid either way, I don't think it matters. I think if you get all of the information, then you 
basically get an extra bit of, extra bit of cash. Okay, so transport beacon popped up on the side. Someone wants lifts, but you know we're not into that at the minute. Did I miss a? Get around there. Did I actually miss one of the console in this area? I don't think I did. There are some performance issues that is being addressed with some very different technologies to reduce the amount of graphics involved because it is a very resource hungry game at the minute. Uh, don't get the right way up, turn. It is very disorientating. Okay, so I think we're going down a level here. Yeah, down. So pressing the control key down to the next level. Alright. Sideways then and down. Okay. So basically, you're gathering all the evidence. And one of these messages will give you the information you need to get back in to one of those pods. Don't get that one over there, is that one? But it's it's kind of guided. That might be something else. I've never been in those vaults there. It's okay, so interestingly enough, the Covalex Hub is a, uh, a site of other missions that you would do where you come and pick up bits that people have lost. It's a master override code, I think that's the one. We'll keep looking. Make sure we get everything there. Off. I think there are five pieces of. Five terminals to get information from. And basically, you end up back at those sort of like habitat beds. Uh, up, you're yeah, up. Yeah. That really is annoying. I wish you'd stay up right. But I suppose to a certain degree that's realistic, you bump into things and uh, oh and there's the last bit, I think. Once again, using the personal inner thought to access the data. Um, should have the right code by now to get in. Oh, okay, so these should be the beds areas. And one of these is locked, and we can now open it. Set that one on. Nope. It's this one. And there it is. So we should have get out. There's the doorway. It's very dark in here. <laughs> All of a sudden, since oh, that's better, the door closed. Be honest, right? So, okay, so, so we've got all the information, we've got into the secure area, we can now put that in. So, we uh, go to here, go to the accepted tab, and we can now submit that evidence. And it says contract completed, PI wanted. Objective, go to the couple of works. Shipping hub. There we go. 
and that's it. And that's that one done. And I, as you can see by my current balance, I am up by 230 um, AEU. So there we go. That's the one of the first missions you'll come across in the game. How to get to the Covalex hub and where it is. How to use the quantum uh, drive and uh, how to pick up missions. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. Uh, you can then subscribe. That would be really helpful to me if you subscribe to my channel. It makes what I do worthwhile. You can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.